Another question pertaining to bank reconciliation statement. So our last lecture we talked extensively on bank reconciliation statement and why are we reconciling, why are we making preparing such an account? Because most of the time we discover that our cash account, which we have prepared, the balance in it is always different from our bank accounts. Reason why we have to reconcile the cash accounts and the bank accounts to ensure that they all balance. They all balance. So bank reconciliation statement is a statement that is prepared by an account holder for the purpose of finding the differences between the cash book and the bank statement balance. So in order to reconcile or to harmonize the balances. So there is a question here now we talk before us that we now need to do. So let us not forget our um, uh, some the reason why those things do not balance. The reason why we always find those discrepancies. A presented check, just go through your note back with and check. You have on presented check, on credited check, dishonor check. Bank charges, standing order, credit transfer, dividend. These are the reason why it might not the cash book might not balance with the balance uh, bank statements, and you now have to now prepare it. So, on thirty first July twenty twenty three, ABC cash book showed a debit balance of four thousand naira. So the cash book of ABC showing four thousand naira. But his bank statement showed a balance of 4,270. So there's a difference. You can see it's not the same. So on comparison, the following were found. After they were making comparison of it, the followings were found. One, check issued amounting to 2,500 naira had not been presented for payment. So let's prepare our bank reconciliation statement. So we have, um, I told you we have two formats, bank reconciliation, reconciliation statement as at 31st July. 2023. As of 31st July 2023. So the format we have, we have method, we have like three methods, but the most prominent ones are the two methods. We have the one that you walk back from cash to bank account or Vice versa, from bank, the balance upon your bank, you work it back to now get the balance in your cash. So now we get to balance your cash. So let's work from our cash back to our balance, to our bank balance. That's what we do first. So we have from the format, balance as at cash book. Our balance as a cash book is when we have it here that ABC cash book showed a debit balance of 4,000 Naira. So we are having 4,000 Naira as our balance for cash book, as a cash book, as our balance. So we want to work it back to this 420, 4,270. That's where we want to work it back. Then, next one says, Okay, let's even now, now look it one by one. Check issued amounting to 2,500 had not been presented for payment. Had not been presented. That means you have issued the check to somebody, but the person is yet to take it to the bank. But in your own record, you have deducted it from your account, from your cash account that this money has gone. But the person is yet to, the, to take it to the bank. So this is unpresented, un, unpresented check. Let's just let's name it. Unpre 
Zentechek. Sorry, I just limit one by one so it will be easy for us. B, the bank rejected check amounting to 140. The bank rejected check amounting to 140. That is dishonored check. And we told the reason why check with dishonor bank dishonor check dishonor check so it could be due, due to alteration wrong figure signature the decision are not the same so the bank will reject it so that's that one is dishonor check so another a customer share paid 170 Paid 170 directly to, into the bank without the notice of ABC Limited. So that is credit transfer. So you can, can call it credit transfer. It is credit transfer. Bank charge, no, no, no. no, no. Bank charge of 160 were entered in the bank statement only. So we know that one is bank charge. Bank, bank charges, we always have bank charges in our alerts sometimes. Standing order of 700 to a club was not taken into consideration. So standing order means that if we, you have instructed the bank to always make this payment at this also so, so time. So you, you, you have forgotten to do the, record it in your cash book, but bank has gone ahead to, to remove it from your account. Standing order, which we have here too. Then, a dividend of 250 was paid directly into your bank, so sometimes from your shares, Bank, they now pay dividend into your account, which sometimes you don't know that you've been paid. So it will not enter your cash account as at that time. Then lastly, check of 1650 were entered into the cash book and paid to the bank, but had not been cleared. Had not been cleared. So thus not credited, not credited. So this is uncredited check. It means that you have you uh, you you, re you receive a check from someone. You receive a check from someone, but you recorded it in your cash book that you this money has come in. But you present it at the bank, but bank will have to wait for clearance from the owner of the check. Should we pay this person or not? They have to wait until they receive confirmation. So the why that process it will make the account not to balance. So from our format, balance as a cash book. The next thing is what what are the things we had? Look at your format. We have on add on present on presented check. Do we have on presented check? Yes, we have on presented. The first one, which is 250 naira. So you add that one to this to 250 naira. It means that since you've already uh, removed it from your cash book, that the check you've already removed it from your cash book, that the money is gone. So add it back. You have to add it back. The next one is dividend. Let's look at it. Dividend from our format, dividend. And we have our dividend here, which is this. So a dividend of 250 naira was received. So you add the dividend since it is already in your account, in your bank account. So you never know now you know. So you add it to it 250, 250 naira. Then what next we have credit transfer credit transfer that's a customer share will pay 170 directly into your bank without notice to the firm without notice to ABC, 
ABC Limited. So since you know you add them onto bank, the money has come into your bank. So add it to your cash account. At least you are getting to to the arrival of making sure everything balance. Credit transfer. One seventy. Is there any other? No. So we need use of this this and um, unpresented check. So we have dishonored, we have bank charge, standing order, and on credit card. So the total of this. 252 2920 plus the 4000 that's giving you 6920 so less uncredited check uncredited check that means the money you have received you already recorded it in your own account your own cash book that you bought the bank is yet to credit you the bank is yet to record it so remove it from your cash book so uncredited check uncredited check With one thousand six fifty, one thousand six fifty. Then we have bank charge. Is next bank charge. So since you have now seen that bank also also charge money from your account, so remove it also from your cash book. Remove it also from your Cash book 160. 160. Then we have this honor check. This honor check. So 140. As I said that uh, you have to also less it to the check you receive. And bank now discovered that ah, this check you are bringing that you want to claim the money, there, there are alterations. There are discrepancies on the uh, on the figures and thereabouts, so we are going to dishonor it. So you remove it from your cash book, which you already recorded it initially before. So not check. You remove it from your account from your cash book one forty. And the last one, which is the standing order, standing order. Which bank has already deducted from your account, but you are yet to remove from your cash book. You are yet to remove it from your cash book, so just remove it now. Standing, standing order. How much? Seven hundred naira. Seven hundred naira. That's that's all. That is all. So the total. The total one six five zero plus one sixty plus one forty plus seven hundred. This is two six five zero. Since you are you are deducting, so you deduct it from this six nine. Six nine two zero. So you'll be getting four two seven zero. So this will now be your balance as balance as per bank statement.
balance as per bank statement. So this is just how it is. You walk back from your cash book, you walk it back to your balance as per bank statement. And if you want to do the second method, if it is from balance statement to you just opposite of it, you just start as balance as per bank statement, then you add back all this and you less all this, you arrive at balance as per cash book. Either of the two is fine. Either of the two is fine. So uh, we'll now be moving to